before you want to get to your cosmic soul family right. and connect with your, you know, your truth and who you really are, we got to clear the old stuff first right. before we move forward. So once we go through that, and sometimes there's so much old stuff to clear, the whole session is taken up by just that. Mm -hmm. And they are usually pretty grateful that we just focused on that because right. it was very needed. A lot of the times it'll be the first half hour clearing the old stuff. Mm -hmm. Second half hour is like, okay, great. Now, why are you on this planet? What are your grand, you know, soul contracts with mm -hmm. Mother Gaia, with planet Earth? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's really cool because to see someone's soul contracts, I have to go into um, all the way back to their very last lifetime off of this planet. So sometimes they're Anunnaki, sometimes they're Palladian, sometimes they're gray. And mm -hmm. it's in that lifetime where they choose, I'm going to volunteer to come to planet Earth mm -hmm. and, uh, and help them out. And usually there's two uh, contracts that a soul always kind of signs up for, especially for this planet in particular. And the two contracts, this is for every soul on this planet, whether you're a tree or an animal or a human, mm -hmm. uh, all souls. And uh, the two contracts are, what are you here on this planet in this incarnation to learn as a human being? Why did you, what are you here on this planet to learn? Okay, so what are you receiving as right. being a human? Mm -hmm. And then of course the second contract is, what are you here to give? You know, what are you mm -hmm. here to give back? Uh, so the, the receiving, what are you here to learn? It's usually, ah, I'm here to learn that it's okay to watch humanity suffer and not be able to help everyone. That's a huge lesson that mm. a lot of cosmic souls are learning. Right. And then the other is, how are you giving back? Oh, well, you know, I used to be a Palladian or an angel, so, you know, or they used to be an angel or a Palladian, and so they're here to heal and open up vortexes and work with crystals and work with Reiki or other kind of healing modalities, mm -hmm. uh, which is incredible. And they've done that in lifetime after lifetime. But those two contracts always collide. If you're here to understand that it's okay to watch others suffer mm -hmm. and you're here to heal the world, usually you have to deal with the suffering of loved ones while you're healing others because your loved ones aren't ready to heal themselves. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, and then, and then, yeah, and then I'll go into other past lifetimes or future lifetimes that are off this planet. So what else have you done, you know, other than just being a human off this planet? Who else have you been? So I love introducing people to their cosmic parallel selves. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time it used to be like in the past couple of years, it used to be a lot of let's introduce you to your spirit guides. And a lot of the spirit guides that I tend to work with and see uh -huh. in others are cosmic spirit guides, interdimensional beings that I kind of, um, you know, work with and see and channel and what have you. But nowadays, spirit guides, that's a very old traditional concept. No longer are we looking outside of ourselves to receive information. We have a plethora of lifetimes out there that we can actually absorb that information from. So I'm no longer going to someone's spirit guides. I'm going straight to their, themselves, just in another dimension, just in another right. realm.